Thank you for tuning in. This is Chris with Element Shield Surface Solutions. Today we're going to be doing a restoration for this deep undermount sink. It is highly scratched, very dull, and why spend another $300 replacing a sink when you could just restore it for a fraction of the cost? So the items that we're going to be using today is some painter's tape just to mask the borders. This is very important. This is uh, something that I like to use. This is an iron decomposite remover. You don't really have to use it depending on the severity. Uh, I like to use it just to just give me a, just as a prep. You know, prep is key when it comes to any installation that I do. I attention to detail as well. So this is gonna be a pH balance acid-free formula. As quick as quickly and safely breaks down uh, contaminants on metal surfaces and multi surfaces. I like to have some diluted alcohol water just to remove any of the polishes I'm gonna be using. The polish I'm gonna be using today is CarPro Clear Cut. Again, this is something that I like to use. I've been using it since day one. It's giving me great abrasion. You can use any stainless steel polisher or any um, basically automobile polisher, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Again, please test on a conspicuous area before you proceed with the, with the full project. I'll be attaching the links for the two stainless steel abrasion pads. These are pads I'm gonna be removing, used to be removed the scratches. You can use a machine. I don't, certain, certain surfaces that you don't, I don't recommend using machines just due to the fact of uh, how powerful they are. You know, let's say you slip, or you, your, your wrist moves in the wrong way, you can, you can damage the, the surface permanently. Again, this is our two sanding blocks we're gonna be using for this project, one soft, one hard, one for the contours, and one for the flat surfaces. I like to use microfiber pads just uh, as a finishing step, just to give it that nice shine, that sheen and shine that we're all looking for. And of course, the microfiber to remove any residue and to see the progress of your, your project. So um, just stay tuned, check us out. All right, so first step is to move any surface contaminants, just to make sure there's nothing loose, just hanging on top. All right, one, all, once that is said and done, we're gonna take our fallout We're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. It should be turning purple in certain areas. So the fall is conducting its magic. It's uh, slightly purple. That's all the iron composites just falling down. So this is what we're looking for. So after that's said and done, I'm uh, just gonna give it about two more minutes so we can break down anything loose that's just just sitting on top. And we're just gonna do a brief removal and start the polishing process. All right, so before we focus on the main important surface, which is the face of it, uh, we're going to be polishing the, the walls of the sink. We're gonna be using our polish. And again, you wanna go within the grain. So if the grain is facing horizontally, you wanna polish horizontally. If it's going vertical, you wanna go vertical. So we're gonna be doing this to the all walls about two to three times. Again, the walls are not really scratched. So we don't need to restore any scratches. It's just really blemished. So you're gonna be proceeding this step about three to four times, depending on how bad is it. So now that we've basically lightly polished the walls, and we're gonna focus on the bottom face of the sink. So as you can see here, I've already started 
and you can see a clear difference. This is the part that I've started. I still have a long way to go. Um, I've only been polishing for about 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So of course you're gonna take uh, the most abrasive part of it. Um, you're going to put it flat on your sanding block and you're gonna go on the straight continuous motion back and forth. Just reassuring that you're going with the grain. You don't put too, too much pressure, just enough, like a medium amount of pressure. And you're gonna go in a straight continuous motion. Just reassure that you're not, you know, going out of track. You're just going up and down, up and down with the grain of the substrate. So the scratches have reduced significantly. So then we're gonna proceed to the next part. And you're gonna overlap. You're not gonna go from one part to another. You're just gonna overlap as you go. So you're gonna put your pad about halfway through so it's nice and even. So once this is all said and done, we're gonna do each pass about 20 times. So, um, and after we're done with polishing, we're gonna be putting our nano protective film. And this, that nano protective film is going to basically prevent any further scratches from happening. Um, it's gonna protect the bottom of the sink. It's also gonna be hydrophobic. So no soap scum is gonna build up in the bottom of it. The water is just gonna roll right off. All right, so now that we've finished polishing uh, with this pad here, we're following it, following it with this pad. So this pad is gonna be a little bit softer of the touch. Uh, just gonna give it more of a, of a sheen uh, appearance. It's gonna level out the surface. So again, we're going with the grain at a continuous motion, overlapping each section. So we're gonna do this about, let's say about eight to 10 times, depending on the satisfactory of, of what you think the surface looks like compared to how it was before. So as you can tell, I'm overlapping. over and over. And halfway through, you're gonna wanna switch the pad and just flip it on the other side. Cause after a while, this, this turns black um, and the abrasion just uh, decreases within the pad. All right, so we're done running our passes through uh, with this pad, with the lighter abrasion pad. So we're not, right now, what we did was we put a little bit of clear cut evenly distributed around the sink. So you don't need to go, you don't need to put too much. A little bit goes a long way. And then again, we're just gonna go with the grain. So this is gonna give it its final shine. So at the end of this video, we'll compare the before and after. So you can see the drastic difference.